Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this um, KO Fox. It's the Fox 70 or 70 Fox, whatever. It's supposed to be 70 CC. Um, we're going to figure out which one is not seized up. They might both be, I don't know. And uh, then we're going to try to get one of them started. So let's get on with the intro so we can get on with this. So now what I've done is I've took this cover off. There's just two screws. There's one here and one here that you can get to just by sticking a long Phillips screwdriver down in there. Now, I don't have a key, so I'm just going to do a hot wire on it. And I'm just going to clip them wires from the ignition. I found two ignitions, a set of two for $8. So... I went ahead and ordered them, but until then there should be four wires in here. Two of them will kill the engine, and there should be a black and red wire in there that if you touch them together, everything comes on and you should be able to start it. So, uh, I'm just going to cut this wire off down here because it's no good without a key anyway, right? So, and I don't have my clippers or my side cuts or wire cutters, whatever you want to call them. So, I just use my knife here. All right. Now, we're going to pull this wire up through here. And there it is. Yeah, there is four wires. I was right. Okay, so. And these things, these ones here are going for. Right now, a couple places got them on sale for almost 800 bucks, but normally they run anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200 new. So, all right, so these two you wire together, the red and black. I don't know what you're seeing again. Hang on a second, guys. So, red and black you wire together, and that gives you your power. And then the white and green, if you would touch them together, it shuts it off. So let's clip those two, or skin those two back. And then we'll put jumpers on it and see if it'll crank over. got the tractor over here well the lawnmower monkey's John Deere we'll see if we can jump it enough just to see if it'll crank I don't want to crank it a lot because of that gas that's in there so I'll bring you over here and We'll put our jumpers on here. Man, that's nasty under there. She's about due for another one. I want to start looking for another one for her. Make sure you get them on the right sides, right? Let's see if we got spark here. Looks like I'm about due to invest in some jumpers.
nothing yet. All right, let me let me get uh get these to get some power to them. I may have to bring the battery charger back here. So, hang on a second. Okay, guys. So I tried this one. Um, someone already had this one out. This was hanging down there. So they've already tried this one. Neither one of them will crank. It just sparks so I'm thinking maybe the starters are bad so let's try this one but the throttle the chokes locked up the throttles locked up so it's not looking good for the carburetors but I'm gonna pull this one around front and work on that one um, I know the brake the brake lights come on the headlights do not so there's the switch for the headlight and this switch is froze up so is the choke and the throttle so it's not looking good but let me pull this around front and we'll see if we can get these plastic covers at least this part off of it so we can maybe yank that starter and see if it's the starter that's locked up or the engine so Stick with me guys. So I'm gonna take out all these screws. There's a 10 millimeter nut behind each and every one of them. So I'm gonna take them out. Nothing special there. If I run into anything that might be of importance to you, I'll let you know. But right up under there's the starter. It's right down in there. And we'll see what's going on with the starter. I think that might be the problem with both of them. Let's take it off, see if we can clean it and get it to crank over. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see if I can find the fuel line and drain that fuel out of there. Okay, I got all the screws out. That's all there is to that. I'll show you where the starter is. It's way up under there. I might have to unbolt that exhaust. Which I hope not, because usually the bolts will break down there. But there's the starter right there. right there that round piece that's the starter looks like there's a bolt there I don't know off check it there's a bolt there it looks like one over here so I might not have to take that off there we'll see if I do I'll let you know all right so there's the three bolts that come out one on kind of like on each side and one up on top now we're gonna to have to take because that's chain driven so we got to take this side off and we got to take this cover off I'll show you once I get the cover off what it looks like we got to take that cover off to take the chain off so we can take the starter off and see what's going on plus once we get that start that cover off there I think we can find out if if it's actually locked up or if it's just a starter issue uh, starters 38 bucks on eBay and Amazon for these something like this you got to watch how much money you put into it because they're not worth a lot you know it's not like I can get a thousand dollars out of it you know so you got to be careful with this so let's take it off let's see what we can do let's see if we can you know fix that starter see what's going on maybe make it work and like I said because I know I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get a carburetor because yeah this is the choke here and it's locked up here's the throttle it's locked up it could just be the cables but seeing how that's still got fuel in it I doubt it but we'll see you know I mean I'm putting a budget of a hundred dollars on this thing 
Okay, so, because I know I can make money at 100 bucks. I know I can double my money, so I just got to be careful. So, uh, let me get this plastic piece off. And then uh, I'll take that cover off. And then we'll, uh, I'll show you what's going on there. All right, guys, so, yeah, that's been wet in there. So I'm gonna have to clean all that out. This is the problem here, this chain is kind of locked up. So in order to take the starter off, I got those three bolts out. I gotta get me a, my snap ring pliers and take this snap ring off here. Then I should be able to pull the starter out. This gear will come off. And then uh, we'll take that chain off and uh, we'll soak it and see if we can get it freed up. But Looks like the engine is free. So, yeah, let's take that off there. Before I start it though, I will, I'm gonna have to clean all this up and everything. And uh, There's a sensor right there. We'll have to clean it up. So I'll bet you the other one's the same way. Got some water in it. So, let me get my snap ring pliers put on here. We'll take this off, take the starter off, we'll check it. But definitely we gotta get that chain off of there and uh, we'll get it freed up, soak it in some oil or something. So there's what we're looking at. These bolts, they're uh, eight millimeter or five sixteenths. I used five sixteenths on them. So, <coughs> excuse me, same way with the starter bolts. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to clean all this up, get all this stuff cleaned up here. Um, so yeah. That's the stator, that's the alternator there, so. This is a, a pickup coil. We'll clean all that up. But right now, let's get that starter off of there. So let's check the starter. Starter's fine. So it was just that chain. cool so let me go work on that chain get it freed up get it soaking in some stuff and then uh, I'll be back with you once that's all uh, cleared up I'm gonna go ahead and drain that tank that is a metal tank I thought it was plastic but the tank itself is metal but there's no leaks so that's not saying there won't be but when I take the carburetor off I gotta take all this plastic off of here to get the carburetor off which it's definitely gonna have to come off so one thing first thing first though let's uh let's get the starter working i got the starter working i'll show you i'll show you that spinning around there and then uh i'll put that side cover back on and then we'll check for spark Cool. So let me get that side cover put back on. I'll blow it out with some air and stuff. And then uh, we'll see if it's got spark. And if it's got spark, then uh, we'll shoot some gas down in the cylinder and see if it fires. And if it fires, I'll be done with that for today because it's just too hot. Because in order to take the rest of the plastic off, I got to take all this stuff off of here. off of this side and then pull that up put the handlebars down through that but then I'll take the tank off of it and clean it out real good uh, and then uh, we'll see if see what we can do with that carburetor but right now let's see if it's got spark and let's see if it'll run let me get that side cover back on guys I forgot to mention that does have a gasket around it it's just a, a dust seal and a Whoops, and a uh, to keep moisture out. That's all that does. I will put a seal on it once I find out it, it's, it runs. Not a seal, a gasket. Uh, it does have spark. I just checked it for spark. It does have spark. So, uh, Monkey had to go pick something up. She's going to give me some starting fluid. But in the meantime, 
Let me see if I can get a way to get some gas down in that cylinder, pull that plug out. Let's see if we can get it to fire. Like I said, that's going to be it for today, but let's try it and see what happens. Well, it's firing, so that's a good sign. I think I'm going to call it a day. I know it's going to run now. So, yeah. All right, hang on. I'll be back to you guys, and we'll close this out. Hey guys so it does run it was running as long as I was cranking it but the throttle doesn't work and the choke doesn't work so as long as I was choking it with my hand it was running so yeah we got a runner here so I think our next move on this is pull the carburetor off and um, see what we got to do with it um, the throttle I did get to open, now it won't close, so, yeah, um, but yeah, so it should be, it should be a runner, um, like I said, I don't know if you guys could hear it over the starter, but it, it was, it was running as long as I was holding the, you know, as long as it was cranking over, so, yeah, this one's going to be a good one, um, alright guys, so, I'm going to call it a day, it's hot, it's getting late in the evening well not really but it's five o'clock ish or something like that. i don't even know what time it is so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man of legend gone for now yeah the next thing we'll be pulling the carburetor and pulling the tank off of it so stick around for that guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye everyone and take care